Max has started doing vlogs not of me anymore. Toast marshmallow to golden brown. We did that. Just where wheels fell off. Hi, Megan. I, I damaged one of the stabilizer jacks on the back and I have to repair that. Because we're gonna use it here at Arrowhead because it's got such a nice lake, perfect for kayaking. We found the water. You have to show it. <laughs> so this is the whole lid crack and this is like a two gallon uh, jug of water. Okay, so Quincy, you wanna try it? No! My, my legs are burning. Uh, you burned. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> can I get, can I get the thing? <laughs> Okay, so we're uh, off again. I know we haven't had a video in a little while and a camping trip. That's because we haven't had a camping trip we in a little while. We haven't. No. Because somebody uh, has to work. You're busy. Life. Life gets in the way of camping. We should make a shirt about that. <laughs> Saying that. <Life laughs> How gets, dare you, life? Life gets in the way of camping. But, so, okay, first of all, we're going to a place we've never been before. Surprisingly, we've never been. Yeah. And we're we doing have another. An extra person. We're doing. Thing. Another thing that we've never done before, at least with her, that's uh, Stella. Pray for us. Yes. We, we've camped with dogs many times. Um, have we camped with a dog in a trailer since we've been trailer camping? No. I don't know if we have. No. No. But we've camped with dogs before, tent camping and stuff like that. Yeah, we've done it in Oh, the yeah. Camp. Lots lots of uh, times. But this is the first time we're bringing her. We usually leave her at home with the uh, in-laws and stuff like that. But uh, we got to take her this time. So that's fine. She'll be fine. Julie's a little stressed out about it, but she'll be fine. Right? Right? I don't know. Anyways, we're going, the place I was going to tell you we're going, that we've never been before, surprisingly, as many, as many times as we've uh, camped in Ontario and gone to provincial parks, we're going to Arrowhead. Arrowhead, we, believe it or not, we've never been to before. Crazy. So, um, yeah, we've heard so many good things about it. It's one of the places we've always wanted to try. Uh, and we were this close a few years ago. We were this close going to Arrowhead. Wasn't it last year? <laughs> was it last year or the year before? I don't know. And um, there was a rumor that there was jumping mice. And then this one decided she didn't want to go. I so, guess we'll find out. Yeah, there's, it'll be fun. <laughs> the, the, the same mice that jump, well, same mice that are probably at all these parks, because they are probably at all the parks, they all jump. Or Not can jump on us. Oh. I've never had mice jump well, on me. Ever. No, but and I don't think they did. I think that was um, grossly exaggerated. That that rumor. Anyways, that's where we're going. So it should be fun. We've never been there before. So you know what? Uh, we'll show you the driving. you the setup so here at arrowhead the water fill station looks fairly new it's got a nice little I don't know, yellow golf ball i don't know what that is like a handle or something and then if you look at the the water fill actual unit itself it's got a nice little handle and it doesn't have a knob it just has a little lever here a lever style handle you just put into the position up is when it's off and then down and then you do that it's a nice little setup here it looks new uh, the hose looks fairly new, like actually, now thinking about it, the hose looks brand new. Just slowly, come back slowly. Okay. Keep coming. How far back do you want to come? Um, so I'm, the back end is lined up with that post, I guess. Okay.
Yeah, that should be good. Now that you've seen all that, now we're gonna get straight into the camping part. Hi, Megan. Hi there. Okay, don't laugh. Take two. Hi, Megan. Hi, Dax. How's it going? Good, how are you? Sounds good. so AI. How's it going? <laughs> Take three. Hi, Megan. Hi, Dax. Take four. Hi, Megan. Hi, Dax. Take five. What's wrong with Dax? What's wrong with laughter? See, he's so serious. Take six. Hi, Megan. Hi, Dad. <laughs> oh my God, stop! You're making it worse. Oh uh, you want to say something? You want to talk to the camera? I just wanted to say hi. Hi. When's the last time we saw you? Too last, long. Last week. Dad has weekend? started doing vlogs, not of me anymore. He just does it of himself. I never did a vlog of you alone. <laughs> you thought all this vlogs was about just about Megan? Yeah. Yeah. It started mm, that way. No, it never did. <laughs> no, no. Anyways. We're here at our campsite, or actually this is our camping buddies, Darren and Tammy and Megan and Andrew, their campsite, uh, just next door to ours. Ours is over there, close, but these guys think it's actually far, but it's not that far. But uh, believe it or not, it's July and we haven't camped with these guys yet, as, as much as they're That's buddies of ours. Crazy. Yeah, we haven't camped with this. the first time for 2022 that we're actually camping with these guys. Did you miss us? Yes. Did you miss me? No. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> Very much so. So, as you can see, this is what site number is this? 460. 460? Yes, 460. 460. And let me come down here. It's a pretty big site. They've got their like 20 something foot trailer. They've got their uh, truck there. And look at the space. I mean, this isn't even a wide angle of this camera. Uh, the fire pit is right over there behind the picnic table. And, um, it's a it's a big site. You could easily fit a bunch of people here. I know provincial parks here only say you can have six people per site, but uh, they're drying out some stuff. Oh, Darren, come here, come here, come here, come. So, wh why are you drying stuff out? What happened? Or should I? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Tammy, we'll go look at the evidence okay. over there. So what happened? Darren was filling up the water <laughs> and he asked me to go inside and turn on the taps to get out the air out. So I had to take out the water jug that was in the sink, full water jug, yeah. which is over behind Julie. And? And when I turned the taps off, I forgot to put the water jug back securely back in the sink. So when we drove off, it fell off the counter, crashed water everywhere. Okay, so yeah. moral of the story or a lesson, you know, and it's fine. It just happens, right? This is real world and this is life. It happens. Not every camping trip is a perfect camping trip, That's accident right. free. So, so what advice would you give people at home, like when it comes to <laughs> water in the trailer when you're traveling? Just pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, put yeah, things back where yeah, there's. Yeah. We're only yes, here. we're and, only. Here. Yeah, exactly. No accidents happen all the time. I didn't. It, my last episode, mm -hmm. the last time we went camping, I'll turn it around here. Last time we went camping. <laughs> I was backing up the trailer and I'll put a link in, in the sky right here you can see I, I damaged one of the stabilizer jacks on the back and oh, I have to repair that so there. so here let me show you where the jug is and you can see yes that's that's what I was hoping she would say so this is the whole lid crack and this is like a two gallon uh, jug of water um, always keep it if you can it's nobody's nobody's fault and nobody to blame and, and I get a little domestic here in, in the foreground. But um if you got a truck with space like this That's and not domestic, this is domestic. <laughs> I gotta cut that part out. <laughs> um if you got a truck with space in the back, try to keep anything water, jugs or liquid or stuff like that, in there, not so much in the trailer. It's just water, it's gonna dry out there and have to take some stuff out back of the to Megan. Oh no, sorry. Back to Megan. So Megan. How's it going?
feel like I'm up north. It has an up north vibe. I know I'm up so north. The question is, what do you it has the right vibe. You found the water. We both have wagons. Okay, we're sitting around the campfire here and um, listen very carefully. I'll turn up the volume. If you know what bird this is singing, let me know down in the comments below. So Stella, what do you see? Yeah. Stella. Well, nothing. If you're considered yeah. an adult at 18, that's fine. Right? So this is what we're going to try for this uh, campfire. It's a s'mores grill rack kit now i got this at a, like a discount store i don't even know where you would get this I, I don't know if you can get this online i got it at a where do we get this again julie where do we get this again winners winners we got this winner so we're gonna give this a try uh open it up and I'll show you how it is it's a it's a s'mores grill kit okay so this is the box like i said let's open it up and take a quick look at it and um i'm not doing an unboxing or anything but i just want to show you that Basically, it's a little tray, a metal tray that goes over the fire. Darren, we're gonna have to pop that um, that grill lid level on top. You're the assistant. Um, and then basically, it's got like little metal skewers, and you put the instructions. You can read it if you need it. But uh, you put the little metal skewers on the side of these. These open up like legs. Uh, it's all tied up here. I gotta do it. Um, and then the marshmallows go through the skewers, and then the little graham crackers and chocolate go on top here and these warm up and melt and get crispy and then the marshmallows get crispy i'll show you okay so these are the legs okay these are the legs they just open up like this and these are the skewers and the skewers when you get the marshmallows they just go on here like that and then the other one goes like that i want to see you grab it and see what happens so we slide it on like this and then, oh, it's over here. And then you put it on like this. The only problem is that I can foresee is you put this on the fire now, but if you put this on the fire, like so, that's fine. And you put the, the other stuff in, but when you go to pick this up, you're probably gonna burn your hands. Like right now it didn't get hot, but this will be hot. So I don't know if you have to wear gloves. I don't know. Maybe maybe we just pull this part off. Oh. The instructions are like it's gonna be burning two words. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's basically it in a nutshell. Yeah. Don't just toss it. <laughs> and look at the contraption that comes. Can, can you bring the hand sanitizer for me? In the bathroom, can come make it? are gonna melt really I fast. say the chocolate's melting all over that. <laughs> you yeah, you need to turn, turn like this. Turn the other marshmallow you need to turn. And you turn the other one here. Oh, look at that. They're turning oh, yeah, they're nice, and nice and toasty. I don't know if you can see it, but you know what? And you keep this off the fire and it doesn't get hot. Ish. <laughs> like it's like foil, um, man. <laughs> and look, the chocolate is melting. Now, you don't have to get the chocolate we got where it's embedded into the graham cracker. And that's the celebration one there that Julie has. You can just get the chocolate chunks and put it I on top. You know, and look at that. It's all right. Look at that. That marshmallow is ready. That one's ready too. And and um, Megan's doing it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> okay. Now I don't know. How do we get? I don't. I don't know how we get it off now. <laughs> we need a spatula. No, 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 no. I want to see that. Use fingers. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, uh, that's a little hot. <laughs> okay. So you do this. Is it hot? And you slide it over. You know what, Dax, Dax, no, no, they're Use chopsticks. Your knife, Use the like chopsticks and pick it up. Oh, get the other skewer. That's what the other skewer is for. They're chopsticks. Get the other skewer. Here, look, look, I'm, I'm good with chopsticks. I'm good with chopsticks. Grab. No, no. Yeah. Oh, I got a spatula. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Can I? Here, here, here. Can I hear? Oh, it's messy. Spatula. Yeah, I'm sure you do this. Thing. Okay. It's, it's melting. chocolate all over the thing. That's okay. We can wash it. What are you doing there? <laughs> Here, Spatula! No, hey, you no, have to put it on for too long. Stop. I'm, I'm picking it up like a chocolate. <laughs> Darren! <laughs> okay, <laughs> May, okay, Tammy, get it. Get it underneath. Come in, okay. Julie, can I have a cookie? Yeah, it was, takes it's too long. Okay, long. okay, but now you gotta get get another spatula oh, and get this one. <laughs> I'm not sure it's, about it's this stuff. trap. It's stuck okay. in here, Doc. How do I get how do I get this one? I'm trying. Darren, <laughs> Darren. <laughs> oh. I think. Okay, now get the other one. Hold on, now you gotta invert it. 
<laughs> Invert it. What's meant to make it's life easier has made it much more hold challenging. On, on. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and then I can grab it. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. I'm burning my hand. And look at the marshmallow. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Let's eat eating though, guys. I don't need Look at the marshmallow. And then that one, you use your third hand and get that one there. Oh, look at Dan. You're like vintage with chopsticks. Okay. Hey, spatula girl. Oh, we don't have enough spatula. Oh, no, it's dripping. It's dripping. Invert it. Invert it. Invert it. Here, I'll, I'll give you a hand. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. No, no, spatula. How can you eat any of this? Here, okay. here's a paper towel. Darren, if you want to put... You have to put this in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Darren. <laughs> Don't be a wuss. There you go. It's no, a double decker. No, take a picture of Megan's. A double Megan. decker marshmallow. Uh, yeah. Megan, see, yours are the... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Old oh. school? Yeah. Oh, my God. Darren, you want to put... Okay, so... Quincy, you want to try it? No! My, my legs are burning. Uh, You'll burn! Ah! <laughs> can I get, can I get the <laughs> I'm not trying that! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna hold it, I'm gonna hold it. Oh okay, but now how do you get the... How do you get that piping hot, oh, glowing... Oh. See, it didn't come with those. No, it didn't! <laughs> you gotta buy them. I thought that was chocolate. Okay, where do I what do I do with the spatula? How do you get I that think, thing off? You're gonna burn it. I don't your think. Hands. I think you're gonna put it in the fire. It's... What the oh, contraption? <laughs> the kit? <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, the kit. I, I think what was meant to be very clever was yeah, very not complicated. So okay, maybe I should. Have... Oh! There we go, and that's how you take it off. Okay, so after all said and done, now I'm reading the instructions. Yeah. Okay, so it says it's four instructions. This is why it's so hard, but I did get it wrong. Instruction number one, or direction number one, toast marshmallow to golden brown. We did that. This where wheels fell off. Number two, make ingredient in, make ingredients ready. We didn't do that. We didn't have ingredients prepared. Three, place toasted marshmallow and other ingredients on graham crackers. See, our our chocolate was integrated into the graham crackers. That's why it didn't work. Uh, number four, and the final one. Top with other graham cracker square. That's it. But we messed that up. But I still think it would have worked. It was fun though. So anyone that's been uh, following our channel knows that uh, we have this inflatable Intex kayak. It's been great. Uh, I did a little review on it. I'll put a little thing right up here on the review that we did. But um, it's been great and we've stored it. We've had it for the last two years. Just a little bit of sand on it now. But we were just blowing it up because we are going to use it here at Arrowhead because it's got such a nice lake, perfect for kayaking. And I uh, found out it has a giant hole in it right there. <laughs> what happened, we assume, is I stored this in a trailer. Uh, took everything out. When we winterized the trailer over the winter, uh, we take everything out that could be, you know, uh, damaged. If mice get in there, we try to rodent-proof our trailer as much as possible when we winterize. Uh, we usually do a good job and uh, knock on wood nothing's happened up to now uh, and we left the kayak in there last year rolled up and stored away under one of the bunks and this is a big hole that we've determined that uh, some rodent or vermin got in there and went to town on so now we put a patch on I don't know if the camera's picking up the patch I don't think it's gonna hold but this is a patch that came with the kit Hopefully, we, we, we hope that we never have to use it, but we'll give it a try. Let it sit for about half an hour. That's what the instructions say. And then we'll uh, attempt to inflate it and see what happens. We're not holding out a lot of hope for this, but we'll give it a try. Okay, now uh, I waited a half hour, inflated it all, and that seems to be the only hole. And it looks like it's actually holding the air. There's the patch there. I'll have to zoom in and show it to you. The patch is holding pretty good. Uh, it's not even lifting at the sides. I thought maybe it'd be lifting at the sides here. Uh, you could ca cut it round. Maybe I should have cut it round, but I wanted the m maximum amount of uh, adhesion and patch I could get. So as you can see, she's holding. So maybe uh, maybe we lucked out here. We're going to take it on the water and see what it's like. Okay, I spoke too soon. As you come over here, tell me if you can hear that. Patch isn't holding. Air is coming out of here. And just too much pressure. Yeah, patch didn't hold. 
I mean, I could do that, but it eventually will do the same thing, especially when we're on the water. I just guess this patch isn't holding. I could try a different patch, but I think just the hole itself is just way too big. Dinner time again, and we've got some chicken shish kebabs and some shrimp kebabs, I guess you can say, or shrimp skewers, and uh, just about to eat dinner. Okay, one thing we noticed when coming here to this park, or at least to this site, I don't even know if it's the park. This is the Roe Campground, I think it is called. There's a lot of little tiny bugs, and um, Darren and Tammy, at least Tammy, thought for sure that they're uh, ticks. Now, I took a picture, I zoomed in on my cell phone camera, I took a picture, I'll show it to you um, right now and show you, you tell me, but I'll flip around and show you. Hey, bud. <laughs> Uh, they are all, of course, now that I'm, oh, there's one right there. There's a, a, a small one. Um, that's what they are, look like. There's another one here. They're all over this picnic table. Uh, we, we had all stuff all over this picnic table. We had to actually take it off because they're all over. Uh, there's some remnants of some dead ones <laughs> from Quinton with the, uh, zapper. Anyways, they're all around here. The funny thing is, Darren and Tammy, they're, uh, campsites just about 200 meters down that way um, separated from us they don't have any at <laughs> their site but we have them all over here Tammy was convinced like I said I took some pictures I went on um, I went on this uh, website or this app you can download for iOS I don't know if they have it for Android I assume they do it's called eTick and you can submit a picture and it'll tell you what it is uh, the warden actually drove by here too uh, they were in a truck and I asked them I said do you guys have a lot of reports of tick sightings here or, or ticks and there's that like, yeah, guy in the park there's there's reports and sightings and stuff like that uh they actually at some of the the visitor center and the comfort stations they have a uh notice put up there and a qr code you can scan the qr code and it'll take their websites to, to show you and identify what the ticks look like that are in this area anyways these aren't ticks i was confirmed by using that e-tick app and the uh, wardens they happen to I actually had one on my uh, there was one on my sweater when I was talking to them, so I showed it to them. They're like, no, no, that's not one. Uh, they say if they were here, they wouldn't be right in the open. They're in tall grass, bushes, and stuff like that, uh, like where they're typically found, but they're not out in the open, which I was a little surprised if they were ticks that they would be in the open like this. Uh, so they told me they weren't. So rest assured, they do have some probably all over Southern Ontario, probably wherever, whatever provincial park you go to, they probably have ticks. So you gotta be wary of that. But so we're on a small little hike that somebody told us that it's a five minute walk from the parking lot where the bridges were beach number, the main beach, I forget what number beach it is. Um, is a five minute walk to get to these, what's it called, Tam, uh, um, Megan? Stubbs Falls, Stubbs Falls, Stubbs Falls a waterfall. So we're here and we've been walking for longer than five minutes already. <laughs> yeah, maybe we don't walk as fast as others. That's all, I guess, relative sure. or subjective, but um, it's a longer walk than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of walking and not knowing where you're walking, it's the same thing as like coming to a provincial park for the first time and not knowing anything. What we should have done and what I would suggest everyone do when you come to a provincial park or even not even a provincial park, any kind of national park or private park, what you should do is when you first check in at the reservation gate or house or whatever it is, office, get one of the maps. All these provincial parks, they give us maps. And in those, sometimes they're like just one single fold-out map. Sometimes there's like, it looks like a newspaper. It's actually newsprinted. And check that out. It usually has a, a map of all the campgrounds and where you, where you need to go and stuff like that. But it also has like information for trails, bike trails, hiking trails, beaches, and all that kind of stuff. And gives you information. It gives you, tells you like what the distance is and how long it'll take to get there and stuff like that. So they're very informative. So I would suggest when you get to a park that you've never been before, get a map. Talk to the people, talk to the staff, talk to the wardens that are there. Ask if you want to know about biking trails or hiking trails or pets and where the uh, off-leash area is, if the park has one, or where the pet beach is and stuff like that. Ask, because they're the wealth of knowledge. They'll have all the information and they'll be able to tell you. Right, Abby? Yep. Where's mom? Don't listen to Rin. She went back with Stella. She said forget it? Yeah. Does she have keys?
there's people. Um, so, um, me and my dad, okay, these people are watching me. So, me and my dad stopped because he had to go to the bathroom, and he gave me his camera, so that's his fault. And we just, like, went through that little trail, and I literally got poison ivy, and I'm waiting for him. And we don't know where anyone else is because we're slow. So, we'll update you if we get lost. Yeah, we're still walking. It's been... I say, Abby, we've lost everyone else. Julie turned back with the dog. Okay, and uh, <laughs> we've been walking easily, easily 20 minutes now. The lady said it was five minutes. So we don't even know. I don't know if we're, it's yeah. going to lead to anything. Yeah, because A, the woman lied about being five minutes, or her definition of five minutes is not the same as ours. Or she might have assumed we were riding a bike. Mm -hmm. But if she was lying... Still, it wouldn't be like five minutes on a bike. Yeah, but we don't even know if there's falls up here. The only thing we have going for us is she turned around here. Right there, down there there's water. We can see water and we're following a river. So it's the only indication that we may be going in the right direction. Otherwise, wish us luck. If you're watching this video, that means we survived. Okay, so we're here. Let me turn around and show you what it looks like. That is what we call the Big Bend. Why am I asking you guys again? Because you guys won't. It's called the Big Bend. Look at that. So this is the park store. It's actually a pretty big store. There's some provincial parks that stores don't even look half like this. Oh yeah, is there? Where do you see a TV? Oh, oh, the little counter here. This is obviously new. This isn't. <laughs> really? So this is Quentin's idea. What we have is a bug zapper here. The it's the tennis racket bug zapper, and he's and he's uh, put the the ba the button the button which is dying. Uh, he's duct taped it, and he put a little light behind it. So when the bug goes into here, it'll zap. It's like a homemade bug zapper. So there you have it. This is um, Arrowhead Provincial Park. This is a perfect way to end the video here, folks. A nice, beautiful sunset after three or four days of camping. You gotta check it out. If you haven't been here before, like we haven't, this is our first time, check it out. It's tons to explore here. Bring your hiking shoes, bring your bikes, because there's tons and tons of trails. Bring your swimming suits, as you can see. That is the beach behind me there that you can swim in. Perfect family conditions. You'll love it. Arrowhead Provincial Park maybe two and a half hours from GTA. We'll see you in the next one, take care. This is what it's come to. <laughs> Dog sleeping. Yee.
in a wagon. Name her a playpen. It's like a playpen. <laughs> She's happy. It's like a baby at the campfire. She's passed out so. Well.